Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about cron jobs in Node.js or JavaScript and you can use it in TypeScript as well if you want. So basically a cron task or a cron job is a task that can run in a schedule. Basically you're going to give a pattern, a cron pattern, which we're going to talk about it, for example every Monday or every five seconds or every minute, depends on a schedule that you want to run it and then it's going to execute that task for you. The task could be anything. As long as your process is running, means your Node.js application is running in background, it will just trigger that task on that periodic and schedule that you have. And we're gonna use two, uh, two dependencies, croner and node cron. Basically, both of them are the same thing and they're gonna give you pretty much the same functionality, but depends on what, what, which one you want to use, you can just pick one. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is Croner. Croner is using, we are importing Cron from the Croner. Basically the reason that you see import instead of require is because in our package.json we're using type module. Okay, going back there. So we are importing Cron from the Croner and then we have a task. The task could be basically anything. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, it could be a function. It could be a no matter how big is the task, it can just run it. And then all you have to do is you're just saying cron, the cron pattern, how often and how frequently you want to run the task and the task. And now if I run this one, just to give you the idea, we are running our task every second second, basically 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, as you can see. So it started 38, 40, 42, 44, so it's running the task. If I change this one to five, it's going to run our task every fifth seconds. So I'm going to uh, save it, stop, clear, and run the task one more time. There we go, now we have five, 10, 15, and it will continue. If you go to npm JS and then look for the croner, you can see basically everything and all the documentation. But what I'm trying to show you is um, basically the cron um, pattern. So the first one is the second, which is going to be zero to 59. So if you put number two, for example, it will run on every second second. So if it is, for example, 12, 01, 02, then it's gonna run it, then it's gonna wait for 12, 02, 02, 12, 03, 02, Two again but the pattern that we're using here you're just saying every second we have you just need to run it on a fifth second so as you can see still continue running it but now I'll go back here the second star or asterisk is the minute then we have hours we have day of the month we have month day of the week as well so if you're going to run it every Saturday or every Sunday then you can just define it as well and then here is the month, day, hour, minute, and second. So make sure you understand this pattern and then you can use it. The other options that we can pass is basically uh, are here. So the options are the second parameter of the cone. So if I just pass an object, then these are the options. So the options could be, if you just say max run, so max run would be five times and then you can just only expect this one to run five times i'm going to change it to three seconds so it will be a little bit quicker <coughs> so it'll be 12 15 and 18 and then two more times 21 24 and then it should stop there we go so we have it here so basically you can pass options. Options are, uh, this option is optional. You don't have to pass it as you could see. Uh, previously we didn't pass it, but this is how you're gonna run a task with a croner in Node.js uh, and then follow the pattern as well. The pattern is standard. You can use it with every library, even if you're using, for example, if you're using shell, this is the same thing. If you're using GitHub action, still the same thing, but that's the pattern you can use for, um, uh, cron jobs. The next thing that I want to show is the node cron. So node cron is pretty much the same thing. So we have a task again. So we want we want to run the task, and then we are running the task every second second. 
So you can see here again, using the same pattern. And then we have the console log. We have some set timeout. I just want to demonstrate that it doesn't block the process. It doesn't block the thread. It can still everything else could be run. So nothing going to just actually be blocked. Uh, it's the same things for the kernel as well. Now, if I run it, you can see we have the console log cron job started even before this. Then we have our timestamp, which is happening. And then we have a set timeout. So after five seconds, something should happen. You can see it exactly here as well. And then it will continue. So it doesn't block the process. It actually run it behind the scene on a cron or on a schedule. So that's the beauty of the cron uh, jobs that if you're going to have it in your um, process. So with a known node cron, that's how you're going to achieve it. So you have a task and then you are going to just say cron or schedule the pattern that you want to run and the task with a croner is pretty much the same thing. But both of them, remember, it doesn't block the thread. You can still run other things and it doesn't block it. So it's good in that sense. I just come here as well. So in a node cron, you also have uh, extra examples. You can see, for example, here. Uh, we are running it on a one, two, four, and fifth minute. The reason is that it's not second because obviously uh, the first one is optional. So it will look from the right side. So this is going to be the day of the week. This is going to be the month, day of the month, hours, and here is minute. So that's why you don't see that in that in that sense. So the second is obviously the optional one and everything is start from the right to left. So if you don't pass this one, then it will just only take care of the month, day of the month, hour. Actually, if you don't pass the second and minute, then it will start from the day of the week, month, and uh, day of the month and hour. And there are some more examples here as well. We also have another one, which is cron. So cron is also the same thing. It's going to run a job and that's all you have to just do. All of them are the same pattern. They're gonna use the same pattern for cron and almost the same pattern for just running a task. And then if you want to know more about the cron in uh, Wikipedia, just go ahead and just search for it. You can see the same pattern and also give you some overview and some examples that if you want to see. Okay, here is all I wanted to talk about the cron task. And as you can see, it still is running. I'm going to just stop it here. So this is pretty much it. And I'm going to leave you with this node cron or croner if you have to use it in any of your project. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.